Well, hey there. Welcome to the Paw Paw Chronicles and more with Jim. Well, today what I'm doing is, is I'm setting myself up for what I would call scion wood production. And I'm going to cut this tree down and I will explain to you what it is that I'm talking about. The vast majority of this tree is grown out that way from underneath this canopy which this canopy will go soon as well. But this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up oh probably about 15, 16 inches and do a back cut. And then I'm going to cut this way at a little bit of an angle, and the tree should fall in the direction towards that driveway. And there you have it. Now let me smooth this off. Don't need to use the chainsaw to do this, and that's because the wood of the pawpaw is so soft. The tree, as you can see, is getting ready to go dormant. Now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to do another cut, but I'm going to do it at a little bit of an angle so we have water runoff. The uh, stump won't rot as quickly doing it this way. Take me a little longer to do it. That easy. Now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to Hit this off to the side, and I'm going to move this tree out of the way, and I'm going to explain to you what it is that I'm up to. A lot of folks would be asking, why in the world would you do that? Well, one thing is, this was a wild pawpaw. And as a lot of you know, I have just uh, recently uh, uh, gotten my nursery certification. And uh, I'm trying to work on things that's going to benefit that particular endeavor that I have going on in life. Now, what's going to end up happening when you do something like this? From here out, there's going to be a lot, a lot of root suckers generated from what it is I just done. Uh, I originally planted these pawpaws through here as well as some of these trees uh, to hold back erosion from the driveway when I had the place logged out. Well, now it's time for me to start thinking about what I'm going to do. Now, what's going to end up happening from this point on is root suckers are going to begin to generate all around this area. Right here, is a tree that I had grafted uh, last year. It was a root sucker, 
that I had cut loose, left it where it was, not last year, I take that back. I grafted that in 2020. But it was cut loose the fall before. And I grafted that tree over to an overlease. So that tree now is an individual. And it is an overlease. Now, I have a root sucker here. I have one back here, by the way, if you can see the ribbon. I marked it. I have some root suckers over here. Now what I'll do is, is I'll cut those root suckers loose from this stump when they get bigger. This one here, that one there, these aren't really big enough for me to do that yet. Although I could, but you know what? I'm going to allow these root suckers here to continue to feed off of all this root mass. Now there's one right there that's getting cut loose. Uh, this one right here got cut loose, but I'm going to allow these trees to grow. They are all root suckers. Now what I'll end up doing in the end I'll graft into something like this when it gets much bigger, but I'm going to cut the root loose away from the parent stump. And I'll graft a particular variety, and I will mark what that variety is. I guess my goal is, is to come up with whatever I can as far as grafting material. Each individual root sucker, which this one here, this one here, this one, that one over there, one over there, one behind me, this one here, they're going to be grafted into particular varieties that I can come out here as the years go on and collect uh, scion wood from them. It's my own way of saying, you know what, I'm going to create some scion uh, production. That's what I'm after. Now, when I cut all these loose from this stump, the stump itself, off the side of the stump, it's going to grow and grow. It's going to put out a lot of growth from the stump, and the stump itself is going to end up looking like a bush. But when those begin to grow, I will clip into them, graft into them, and more than likely, it's all going to be the same variety within this stump. And it'll give me a multitude of uh, scion wood for me to work with. I cut this in an angle because eventually this stump is going to die. But by cutting it in an angle, what am I doing is, is I'm causing a water runoff. If it was flat, water would rest up here and it would cause that to rot out much much faster and I don't want that to happen. I would like to see this last for a few years to where I can get what it is that I'm after because this is going to turn into an enormous bush. If I don't graft into it, it'll be the original. But when that starts to bush out, I'll figure out what particular variety I will graft and allow it to grow with that particular variety just on this stump. And that'll be scion wood for me to collect from. Here in about, oh, two years, maybe a year, I'll be able to collect scion wood from that one there and that scion wood will be overleaf. It's an idea that was shared with me by somebody else. So all of these are going to be grafted into something different. And that's going to be my scion production. Just something I want to share with you, an idea that I have going on. My name's Jim. If you like what you see, subscribe. Don't forget to click on that bell for notifications. Any comments or questions that you may have, I welcome. Y'all have a God-blessed day.